Man, I'm glad those aren't concrete benches. Hey, we're just setting up our new shooting range with our old shooting benches. These benches have worked so well for us over the years. We're going to recycle them here at our new shooting facility. When you're shooting long range, you always pick yourself at the end. You pick yourself up on the mountain, you know, shooting across a canyon. You got a 400 inch elk over there. Uh, what I want to do is kind of bring us back to the preparation part of that once in a lifetime opportunity. And long range shooting, I would say, is a lot more about the setup and the gear and preparing for that shot than it is about the actual shot. So when you talk about the preparation, really we're talking about getting comfortable with your equipment, getting confident in its performance. And when we, when we discuss those topics, we're always talking about bench shooting. Shooting from a bench is the most comfortable, uh, most consistent platform that we can explore our equipment's performance and, uh, and build our confidence in the way that it works. So let's start with uh, kind of the, the overall premise. When we're shooting from a bench, uh, the first thing we want to do is, is be comfortable. We want to have good bone support. We want to have our shoulders forward of our hips. And one of the things I see a lot of is, is guys not quite addressing the gun properly from the bench. You're going to have your, your torso angled slightly to the gun. And we want to use our left hand to support the rear bag uh, off the bench and our right hand to control the gun. So this top needs to be big enough to accommodate this type of position. And then when we recoil, the top needs to be long enough that our arm doesn't fall off the back end. So it, in this situation, this top is 30 inches wide. And we are 48 inches long. And to accommodate a right hand shooter, we have a notch cut that is 14 inches by 18 inches. And th these dimensions have worked very well for us. And if you wanted to make an ambidextrous bench, you would just mirror that extra 14 inches on this side. And uh, it would set up and work perfectly. Um, another feature that you'll see on this bench, we've welded on top of this quarter inch plate top, uh, just a small piece of strap that gives us about a quarter inch of catch. So if you've got shells, casings, you know, uh, you know shooting glasses or anything, nothing's going to blow off or roll off. So it kind of traps everything there. When we look at a bench in that comfortable position, uh, height is probably the biggest mistake people make. Um, usually people are trying to make compact benches. Uh, they end up too short. Uh, this bench top is close to counter height. We're talking 34 to 35 inches, I think is a very comfortable height for a bench top. Uh, if you're really tall and you don't care if anybody gets to shoot on there, you might make it 36 or slightly over. Um, and then to accommodate different size of shooter, you need to have a, a, a seat that has adjustability. And in this case, this seat is attached and we have a range somewhere from 16 to 20 to 21 inches in elevation adjustment. So that works great for my kids, my wife, myself, and then uh, of all the people that we have come train, we've only had a couple guys that were too tall for this, uh, for this setup and scenario. Um, with a bench, stability is really important and you're going to get a lot of that from the leg design so if we take a look at how these legs are hooked up you do not want to put your legs straight down to the ground if you do that you're going to be very unstable these legs have a, a kick out and if you look at the outside dimension for those legs we're almost 42 inches from about 24 inches at the top so we've got a pretty good angle out and you can add that angle to the back even if you want on this one it's straight because we've also added a, a really nice ballast. Uh, in this situation, I'm cantilevering off this back leg uh, with my body mass. So let's say I'm 200 pounds, I'm gonna add that amount of mass to this bench and make it that more, much more stable. Uh, so that's a really nice feature that I like and it's adjustable and it swivels in and out so it's easy to accommodate different shooters. If you use a, a, a regular bench that doesn't have an attached seat, then a, a drummer's stool uh, usually about $100 to $120 will get you a really good quality uh, drummer stool that's got that same height adjustment. The last thing on the legs, if, whether you have the uh, added ballast or weight, is if you can get some type of gusset or support. Um, I've seen concrete benches with good metal legs that still had some vibration because they didn't have some type of truss design underneath. So anything that connects the legs to the top or to themselves will work well. So there's just a few dimensions that will help you make a bench that's going to work very well for your range and it's going to help you build that confidence in your equipment which is so important to uh, being able to take long range shots 
in the field and do it ethically with the knowledge that we're going to make those shots. Uh, one thing that I want to encourage you to do is spend some time learning about more techniques from shooting off a bench platform and you can do that at our website or if you can go to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash gunworks, that will give you access to a lot of exclusive content that you're not going to find on the TV show that will help you to get the most from your bench and to get the most confidence in your equipment that you can. Uh, join us next time and thanks for watching.